In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to clean up all the sample content that comes default with your new Joomla website. Now, this is what I'm talking about here. All this stuff, it, it's very informational. If you'd like to read through these things, um, you're certainly welcome to. You know, everything in here works, so you can navigate around just fine. But uh, I recommend that you just keep watching these tutorial videos. Um, so what you'll do first is, uh, again, we'll log into the back end of our website and we'll go into article manager. So these are all the different articles that they put in here as sample content. I've actually got three pages of them. So if I check this box at the top, it selects all the ones on this page. I'm going to move them to the trash. So it says 20 articles sent to the trash. I'm going to highlight the next 20, send those to the trash. Now this is just my personal preference. I'm going to leave one news flash there just so I can reference it later. Put those other two into the trash. Now, I'm just going to show you one thing. If I go in here to then uh, clean up the categories, let's say I want to get rid of all these categories because I want to set new ones, go to delete, it tells me that I can't delete them because they may currently contain articles. So, although I put the articles in the trash, they're not deleted yet. See, they're, they're not in my article manager, but if I go to article trash, You'll see all those articles are still there. So now I'm actually going to delete them. It's got all these safety precautions in there, which is awesome. And just deleting all of them. Should have two more. There we go. Okay. Oh, got to click that. So then when I come in to the categories, I want to clean up all the categories. Um, it's going to tell me, and I'll just show you, it's going to tell me that I can't delete Newsflash because that still had one article in there. So it deleted the rest, just told me we couldn't delete Newsflash. Um, I'm going to do the same for sections. I'm just going to delete the other two except for News. Now if I come back to the website and I hit Refresh, it cleaned up all the content. Um, you know, I've still got these menu items, so that's the next thing that we want to clean up. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to show you one other thing in the article manager that's very important. If you go over here, click on parameters. This is the way I like to do it, so I'll just recommend it. Select everything to know and hide. Um, for example, what these are is icons, PDF icon print. When you're in a blog, you want a lot of these things to be there, but this is the default setting. And for your website, um, I typically like to just turn everything off and then you can manually turn everything up back on. So now when you create an article, um, those parameters by default, nothing will be turned on, but then you can go in and turn it on later. Um, we'll, we'll discuss that in another tutorial video. Now, we the next thing we're going to do is go into the menus. So if we go into, I mean, you can find each of the menus here or go to the menu manager. Um, the main menu is the one that we're looking at right here. So let's go and I'll just show you how we clean that up. There's two things you can do. I mean, uh, I'll watch. I'll just delete most of them here. They are put in the trash. They're not actually deleted yet. You can go into menu trash. And that's how you actually delete them. Oops, I didn't select them. Okay, so now if I go back into the main menu, um, I can just log go into it and I could change it. So let's have it be test menu, and then I'm going to set the the alias as well. That's what's actually going to appear up in my browser on the top left corner, and then I will just hit save. So you can simply do that, and if I go back to the website, hit refresh. You know, it deleted all the others plus the one that I changed to test menu. Um, the reason I like to delete them and create new ones is I'll, I'll show you. When you go into the parameters, all these, they're show, show, hide, show, hide, no. Um, I like them to all be use global because, you know, when we set the, the global parameters, um, this applies in the same way that we just want them all to be global. Hope you enjoyed your Joomla tutorial video.